Yeah, back on the Sportsman Zone, we talk some track and field. St. Lucia and Julian Alfred capped a stunning year by adding the Diamond League trophy to her World Indoor 60 and Olympic 100 meter titles as she led three Caribbean winners on the opening day of the season ending event in Brussels, Belgium. Alfred rebounded from last week's defeat to American Shakira Richardson by speeding to 10.88 seconds to win her maiden Diamond Trophy. Great Britain's Dina Asher Smith pushed her all the way before settling for second in 10.92. Richardson, the reigning world champion and Paris Olympic silver medalist, ended eighth in 11.23 seconds. Meanwhile, Jamaica's Akeem Blake created an upset to win the men's equivalent. The 22-year-old sped to 9.93 seconds to deny Americans Christian Coleman 10 seconds flat and Fred Curley 10.01. Another upset came for Jamaica in the men's long jump where the 2019 world champion Tajay Gale found a season's best 8.28 meters to take the win, becoming the first English-speaking Caribbean athlete to win the Diamond Trophy in that event. Simon E. Hammer of Switzerland was second with 8.16, while the world and Olympic champion Miltiades Tentoglu of Greece was third with 8.15. Jamaica Shanika Ricketts and Akilia Smith earned podium finishes in the women's triple jump. Ricketts with a leap of 14.22 finished second behind Leonis Perez Hernandez of Cuba with 14.37, while Smith had a best mark of 14.11 meters for third. All the Caribbean podium finishers, Grenada's Kirana James finished second in the men's 400 meters. He stopped the clock at 44.63. Charlie Dobson of Great Britain won with 44.49, while Olympic silver medalist, another Brit, Matthew Hudson Smith eased in the first 120 before crossing the line, laboring across the line in two minutes, 37.21 seconds. And Jamaica's Natoya Gould Toppin finished third in the women's 800 meters, clocking a minute 58.94. Kenya's Mary Mora won ahead of Georgia Bell of Great Britain. Day one of the Diamond League finals from Brussels in Belgium and Lanson Mariah. A stunning year for Julian Alfred by any stretch of the imagination. A tremendous effort she has put together, winning the World Indoor title, winning the Olympic 100 title, and now ending the season in style by winning the Diamond League. Yeah, and in just about a week and a half from now, she'll be heading to St. Lucia to um, embrace the celebrations of her return home and uh, all the accolades and um, plaudits that she'll get from everyone in St. Lucia, including the, the government. But, you know, I've always said one of the things I like most about how she applies herself in a race is her drive phase. Her drive phase, for me, is one of the most impressive in world athletics at the moment because she's out of the blocks and uh, focused and just her lean coming out of the blocks and that gradual textbook drive phase she just wins a lot of her races from that standpoint. And um, I'm really, really happy that she's been able to close her season in this fashion because you're right, she's had a splendid season. It started all the way back in March. Yeah, and it's so important because you can have a stellar performance at the Olympics and then, you know, we can make excuses after and say that, you know, she did so well in the Olympics, but she's kept that up. And I think the key word consistency, she's looked really consistent, looked really good. And I think that's the standout for me, that she was able to do that and still follow it up with these amazing performances. Yeah, and it's been two amazing years for her because when you consider that she had that stunning NCAA season in 2023 where she swept all before her and still managed to get to world championship finals at both 100 and 200 meters yet she is definitely um, among well I have to be careful how I say this I, I don't want to say it like that she is here and I think she is very much here to stay and a 2025 awaits where I think she will have more amazing performances at Julian Alfred um, Lance and Mariah a couple of uh, Jamaican winners um, Akeem Blake in the men's 100 meters and then Tajay Gale in the men's long jump. And I, I say to both of you, I was quite excited. Now, part of the reason why 
I watch the Diamond League finals, it is to see which athletes, um, especially those from countries who have very competitive trials and national teams to make, will book early tickets for the World Championships. And this must have been the best kept secret in track and field. Because imagine my surprise when news started circulating today that the Diamond League winners of 2024 will not get a wild card to the 2025 World Championships. And that, in fact, it will be the Diamond League winners of 2025. And come next year, the Diamond League will end before the September World Championships. So the September World Championships will be the final event. And so apparently World Athletics is saying it is the 2025 Diamond League winners who will get the buy to compete at the World Championships. Now, Lance and Mariah, I don't know. They've really kept this a secret because even in reading a number of the previews leading into the Diamond League finals, it was being said that the winners would get the wild card for next year's World Championships. But outside of that, I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like this. And in truth, this is another move by the Sebastian Cole-led World Athletics that I'm not in favor of. The Diamond League will end about two weeks before the start of the World Championships next year. So you are saying to me, before you know whether you have a buy or not, you would have gone through your national trials, you would have uh, um, gone through an entire season of track and field um, to know whether, well, I guess whether you'll need one and whether you have one. Part of the thing about having a wild card and having the buy is that you know that ahead of the start of the season, mm -hmm. so you can prepare accordingly. You yeah. get to set your season differently. You don't have to peak necessarily for your national championships. You save that one peak for the global event, and it is an advantage. And I just feel that with this ruling, that advantage has been taken away and I don't like it. Yeah, shocking actually. I, I, I agree with you. I don't I don't like I don't like this at all. Of course it has happened because the world championship in twenty five is so late, happening in September, because it would not technically technically happen if that weren't so. But even with that in mind, it is still bothersome in my mind that the body that governs world track and field would feel that this is an okay um, decision to make because it seems really really ridiculous to me yeah it seems ridiculous to me too i tell you something this is a discussion that we will be taking up next week on the sports bank zone following the diamond league finals of course it ends on saturday so three caribbean winners today hopefully we'll have a few more tomorrow interactive to close the show including the nominations for the sports max class moments moment i wonder how many of those angus tour winners <laughs> ended right. up in the nominations. We'll be back. <laughs>